Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to continue on our land use land cover video. On the previous video, we've shown you how you can um, navigate through these sites and then download them. Um, land use land cover of your area of choice from 2017 towards to 2021 right good now the link to that video is on the description section where you see the whole process now there's something we want to show to you before we proceed toward to making a simple land use land cover map you know as you can see this is like um, the old group of actually navigated to where our area of interest so if you want to do that with ease on the other video we've shown you how to do that however we made a comment that you can't upload your ship file let's say you want to download the imagery of your state or maybe of your country or maybe your local government and you are going to you know, import a ship file of that area so that you now crop out or let's say clip out that area it however is not possible presently but you can actually use this um, search icon so you just come to the search icon then you search for your area of choice right good so presently we are working on an area called the river state that's my state now one thing i realized is that you know when you type rivers you try to maybe when you type a word that has to do with your location you have to just pause to see the word the suggestion because when you type river state completely you would find out that there is no entry as a river state in the database right good so the easiest thing to do now is that you however have seen what different um, would i say locations within river state but what we need is actually what the river state on its own so the entry for river state on the database is actually what reverse what ng so whatever your location is you just type it and then you follow through how it would have been let's say imputed on the database right good having established that you just click on search then to navigate to that area then you now know which of the tiles to what to download now there's another very important thing we need to show to you there's what we call a um, legend it's actually a very important um, feature or let's say yeah, element of a map a very important element of a map now you can see different colors you can see blue we know generally blue cartography is water right good you can see green vegetations or trees right good you can see red build up area so now this is the legend right good now this legend serves as the key to understanding your land use land cover map so on today's video we are going to show you how to create a simple map from what we've actually what downloaded so now we are back to what to QGIS you know this was the tile we downloaded on the previous video you can see it's actually very big we try to overlay it on an open street map you can see it's very large because that was what was available for us to download since we were unable to what impute what our ship fire right good to now crop out or let's say clip out our area of interest so for us to have our area of interest we have to on QGIS so any other JS package import the what the the ship file yeah the boundary ship fire right good so we zoom to that particular layer so we just do that and you see that what it's actually on that layer so for us now have the imagery that well, let's say yeah, the land use land cover because actually raster data for us to have the imagery that covers this uh project area what we are going to do is very simple we go to what raster then we go to extraction right good then we go to either clip by extent or clip by max layer so let's go to what clip raster by max layer right good under the clip raster by max layer window we try to impute what uh, the insert the input layer the input layer is the map tile that we downloaded while the max layer is the shape file of our boundary right good so we are going to leave every other settings as default we now try to see where we can what save the clipped yeah or the yeah the clipped what the clipped file then we click on what these three dots then we see what save to file good so we try to save it on a folder called classification under land use land cover right good so now let's see um let's call this um, clip underscore obk right good let's call that clip underscore obk we click on save and then we run good so we can see the algorithm has um, finished running and we can just um, click on close so you can see the new layer on our layer panel so let's put up some of these other layers we don't need 
and we can now see what uh what the raster data for what our uh, area of interest right good now you can see that um it actually overlays on what the the boundary shape file right now this saves you the stress of maybe processing or maybe sorting or whatever the case is now let's try to click on this drop down now under this drop down you can see different um what should we call it different band numbers right good now the band numbers are ranging from zero to i think um, this should be 255 right we don't need all of these band numbers because when we want to do a labeling on the map layout we are going to find out that these layers are what these layers are redundant right these these band them numbers are redundant so we can either delete them from the symbology or we delete them from what from the map layout so now let's see how we can delete from the symbology so either you double click or you right click and you select what properties right good so um under the layer properties you come to symbology then under symbology you can now see that um, we have the different symbols that range from zero to the um as many as we have that's um, 255 right as we said earlier we don't need all of these so we can start deleting them one after the other right now deleting them one after the other might be a bit difficult however we can just use what control shift then we can select multiple right when you select multiple you just click on delete right now control shift you keep selecting you know scroll down to select and then as many as you can select then you what you delete right so now let's see if can just select up to our last uh, number there and then we delete that good so we've actually deleted some of those redundant what those redundant band numbers then we can just click on okay so now let's see this drop down we see that what our band numbers have been well sorted we just have zero which is actually not needed then we are from 1 to 11 now let's come back to our legend now from this legend we know that um, blue is water body, tree is for green or let's say green represent trees. Then this light green grass, this um, should we call it um, maybe shade of blue flooded vegetation or let's say yeah uh, shade of green or so. Then the red built up here, so you can see the key right. Good. So this is the key or the legend we are going to use what in our classification. So for us to start the simple making of let's say yeah uh, simple um. LULC map making we either go to project and select new print layout or we use the shortcut control P right now let's give it a title let's call this um, land use land cover map something like that right then we click on OK all right the new print layer is out the first thing you are going to do is what you go to add map sorry add items then you select what add map right then try to bring in the map into the space Good. So we have our map here. However, we can still do something. What we need to do now is that we need a frame. So let's see how we are going to impute our frame. Our frame will be imputed by just um, drawing a rectangle over our map. So we just come down to this um, which the add shape. Then we want add rectangle, right? Then let's now give it what a rectangular frame. That's what we are going to use as our frame, right? So that's for that. Good. So we have what a frame or let's say a yeah, border or something. Let's now try to increase the scale of this map. But however, this um, rectangle is obstructing us from accessing the map. So we can just lock it so that we can what access our map, right? Good. So now let's work on our scale so that uh, we can have what a bigger map. Good. So we are going to use um, a scale of what um, one in one is it um, 100 right good so that will be the scale for this particular map so now let's um, try to impute or let's say add a few other map elements so now let's um, go with the not arrow first let's see if we can insert a not arrow somewhere around there remember we told you we are trying to create a very simple map so you just then um, follow through the procedure and then you can make a lot of modifications if you want to but we believe that by the time we are done we 
are going to get something very very interesting right good so now that, that's what the the not arrow we are going to use let's say we need a scale bar let's just try to insert our scale bar somewhere down there okay not too wide now let's come down to the style I prefer double box then the unit um, let's make it meters then let's increase this segment okay let's take this back to kilometers then let's increase the segment to that so that um, let's also come down to the display and then make some modifications on the font right good so um, let's say we are using times new roman and making it bold And then that's that for that. Now the next very important part of this video is the what is the legend because that's what will now give us the interpretation of most of these colors we have on our map, right? Good. So let's drag down that box and then let's see how we are going to update or modify our legend, right? Good. So we have our legend here. You can see it's quite long. We are going to make a little bit of um, modifications there. Let's uncheck them um, auto update so that we can make the corrections from this end right without them um, going back to layer panel. So now let's scroll down to see um, the background. Let's uncheck the background so that we can have a see through what is see through um, a legend box right now. Let's come back up again. We don't need some of these other elements on our legend, so we can just select them and delete them right. We also don't need this um, data phobia, but we can also delete that. So let's now move it down a bit. I hope you are actually getting the whole procedure. If you make any, maybe if you miss any step, you can always what rewind, right? So now let's um, update this to let's call it um, L U L C key or whatever we want to call that. That's a um, land use land cover key, right? Good. Then let's um, select this. Or instead of doing that, let's select that and see if we can delete. Good, so we deleted that. So we just have what our land use land cover key. So now let's move that to this point a bit. Good. So having done all of these, let's also check the spacing, right? Now the spacing they are very close. Okay, so let's work on the fonts. Okay, good. So now let's try to edit um, each of these keys. Um, let's um, go back to our legend. Then let's come down to red. I think um, red was stated as what um, built up area, right? Let's confirm that built area. So let's call this um, built area, right? Good. That's built area. Then um, this green, this blue, let's see what blue represents water right so let's come back let's make this um, water right so this is how you update what the the legend right good so let's see one more or two more let's come back that's crop so i think um, this is crop right good so let's um no, crop this should be crop so what else let's come down to this point let's see vegetation that's trees right good so now let's come down to trees that's um, vegetation good good so this is actually a simple land use land cover map you can see the 
the different elements and then how we have and how we have um, come by this right good now let's give it a title so for the title we still come to add item we go to add level right good so let's see um what should we call this now let's say obia core that should be sorry that should be this good so that's a movie a poland use land cover you can decide to give it um, a name of your choice maybe depending on the specification that was given to you right good. so we have something like that just for demonstration we have that at the center and also at the middle right good so let's move this up a bit or let's take it up to this point so we have something like um obi land use land cover still so much to be modified however i've shown you in a very simple way how you can come about what getting your data for land use land cover and creating a very simple map of what land use land cover and also modifying what your your legend right good now another very important thing about them um, carrying out them um, change detection is that you want to know how much like okay how much of built up area do we have in the year this should be 2021 so it will be a poland use land cover of which year so this should be 20 is it 2021 or 2020 i can't recall but it should be 2021 right good so you want to know how much of a um, built up area do we have in 2021 compared to let's say 2007 or compared to maybe 2018 or 2019 so with this you can now know okay how much development has occurred you want to know how much of water body you add in the year 2017 compared to what you have in the year 2021 so on our subsequent video we are going to show you how you can calculate the raster values of each of these what of each of these elements so you know the quantity of water body you know the area yeah by quantity i mean the extent or the area of water body the area of vegetation the area of built up area then you can now see in total how much of this um extends or let's say expanse of land has been covered right good so that will be on our subsequent video however on today's video we are able or we've been able to yeah we've been able to show you how to create what a simple land use land cover map of your what of your area of interest so you can easily what export as pdf or what export as an image to what your location of choice and then you attach it or maybe you send it to whoever needs it so um thanks for coming to class you can still add a few more elements you can still add your grid you can still add so many other stuff you want to add and we'll keep them saying it's actually a very simple map we've created today so we are going to see you on the next video until then keep being good at using gis and keep being good at whatever you're doing have a very good time bye